TF2 has been out for a decade, but here's 10 things you probably didn't know you could do in TF2. I've been playing TF2 for 5 or 6 years now, I don't know if it's been here the whole time or if it's new, but I only found out recently. If you're in game and you press caps locks, you can change your loadout while you're still playing. I just pressed cap locks once in a game and it happened and I was really surprised. But to be honest, I still just press M to access my loadout, it's probably just because of habit. Also, the in-game loadout changer, I don't know if it's just my HUD, but it seems really ugly and hard to use. That being said, it's a really good feature to be adding to the game. Now for this one, you need to go to advanced options and tick some boxes, but when you press tab to look at the scoreboard, you can then click on people's names, check out their Steam profile and stuff like that, and it can be really useful, as well as an easy way of just adding people. When you die as a scout, there's a 1 in 100 chance that a dove will fly out of your body. This was implemented into the game at the Meet the Medic update, and I've only seen it happen once in all the time that I've been playing, but it proves that it does exist. That's how I lost my medical license. <laughs> Archimedes! No! When you're on the normal loadout menu, you can use Control, Alt, Shift, and right click. And if you hold those buttons down while you're moving your character around, you can change lighting, you can zoom in, you can change the angle, and stuff like that. That can be good for if you want to showcase your loadout or the cosmetics you have, which can be really useful for selling unusual. In games like Mirror's Edge, you can look down in the game and see your body and legs and arms which you can't do in TF2, but if you enable the developer console command, it will trick the game into thinking you're using a virtual reality console, which means you can look down in game and see your body. It's really cool, however, I find it way too hard to play with. Keep crying, baby! Little, little man! When a spy disguises a different class, their hitbox doesn't actually change. For example, the scout's much shorter than the spy, so if you try and headshot the scout, you'll end up just body shotting the spy. When you get a direct hit with the mutated milk from the Love and War update, a mutated piece of bread will appear to eat the person you throw it at, which doesn't actually do any damage, but it looks cool. As cool enough as this is, the real cool thing is, if you get a critical hit with the milk, the mutated piece of bread will appear massive. Now we're talking about things you can do on TF2, not what you can't, but you can't actually reload with some guns. If you go to a high view model field of view, then you can see that we just take the clip out and put it back in again. Most people know that you can sentry jump with a fully upgraded sentry in a wrangler, but you can actually jump with a mini sentry too. Just sit on the sentry, aim up with the wrangler, jump, and then when you're in midair, fire and you'll go flying. Just try not to kill yourself. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine. You can actually wall bang through some materials. There are obvious ones like foliage, but you can actually shoot through some window panes. And since they're next to a window, you can see where you want to shoot and just aim your crosshair a little bit to the left or right, and then headshot them without them even knowing you're there. Here are two examples on Frontier. Now I know this is an 11th one, but it seems really interesting, and it's not really something you do, so I thought I'd add it in anyway. On casual mode, if you shoot a gun, the spread will be random, but on competitive, the spread's exactly the same each time, and I was just wondering why this was, so if you, any of you guys can answer it, please let me know in the comments. I really like making videos like this, and if you want to see one that I've done in the past, there will be a link in the description to where you can see how to get better at TF2 instantly. Oof, I almost forgot. Special thanks to Darth Zombie, Spicy, and Small Snake for helping out with this video. Also, I'm going to be releasing a new video soon, talking about how there's more than 9 classes in TF2. Thanks again for watching, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. I miss the old Kanye, straight from the gold Kanye, chop up the soul Kanye, set on his goals Kanye, I hate the new Kanye, the bad mood Kanye, the always